A lot of the times, there's a need to create a reusable component, and TypeScript generics are a great way to do this. TypeScript generics are similar to generics in languages such as Java or C Sharp. But where and why we would use TypeScript generics? Well, let's consider this very simple example. Today, I have a function that returns the argument of a number we pass in. But tomorrow, I might want to pass in a string there. Yes, we can use the any type and make this function generic, but we lose the information about what type was passed. The way we can do this and know the type that was being passed is with the angle brackets and after the function name, we will use the generic type parameter. I gave it the name of t here because people usually use t, but you're not tied to t, you can use any name you like. We also have an item parameter of type t and the return value is of type t as well and t is like a placeholder it will get replaced with whatever type we use this function with and just like that we have a generic function and as you can see if we use the string we get the proper tooling and intellisense and if we use a number again we get the proper intellisense meaning the compiler knows the type that's being returned now beside functions you can also create generic interfaces generic classes and you can use generic constraints and you can also define multiple generic type parameters Let's jump into an example and see where and how we can use the generic constraints. Sometimes you may require some property to exist on a generic type. Let's assume that you have a generic store class where you can add users and you can retrieve a user by their ID. To be sure that the ID exists, we can create a generic constraint. So let's see how we can implement that. We'll create a generic store class and we'll set the generic type and with the words extend we can use our own constraint here and for that we're going to create an interface has id and that interface will have a property of id which is of type number now we just need to pass this interface after the extends keyword and with this we're making sure that whoever will use this class in the future they must include a property of id in their type so now let's just go and finish our class we'll create a private items which will be a new array with the type we're going to pass and we'll create two methods one is get by id which will take a id of type number and it will return the item based on the id we pass in and the other one is add items and here we're gonna pass the item of type whatever type we're gonna use and we're just gonna populate the array of items now i haven't done any checking here if an item exists or if we are adding the same item twice but for the sake of this video we're just gonna keep this simple now let's use this class with some users let's create a user class for First, and this class will for now only have a first name property now if we instantiate our generic store and pass in our user here you can see that we get an error saying user does not satisfy the constraint has id property id is missing in type user but required in type has id as you can see here we must include a property of id to be able to use this class so we're gonna have to add the id to our user class as well and just like that the error is gone and now we can just add two users and try to log in a user with an id of one as you can see here we get what we expected we get the object with first name of david and the id of one now let's move on to multiple type parameters and take a look at another example of how we can implement that scenario for this one we're gonna create a simple dictionary and for that we're gonna make a class dictionary which will take two generic type parameters t key and t val now again this can be any names you like so let's move into the items which is basically an array of key value pairs basically an array of tuples and we will create two methods get item and add item in the get item method we'll pass in the key which is t key and will return the item where the first element in the array is equal to that key and for the add item method we're just gonna push the new tuple to our array now let's create a new instance of this class and pass in the two types of number and string and add the two tuples of two users david and sarah and let's try and log in a user which has a key of value of five now again to keep this simple we don't do any checking in these methods to see if an item exists or if we push the same user two times we're just keeping it simple now let's run this and as you can see we get the result of five and sarah and that is how we use multiple type parameters in short in typescript you can create generic classes generic interfaces and generic functions that's all for this one guys hope you enjoyed post your comments questions and suggestions down below and i'll see you in the next one